40 billion Earth-like planets are in our galaxy alone. This is 40 billion or more planets that have conditions just like Earth. We are taught that in order for the Earth to produce life and to sustain life, specific conditions must be required. And these specific conditions are key to the planet and the planet's survival, as well as the planet's cycles. Now, NASA are telling us that there are more than 40 billion Earth-like planets in our galaxy alone. This would indicate that there are 40 billion or more planets that actually have the conditions to sustain life in our galaxy. And so are we alone in the universe? Well, if we are talking about numbers like 40 billion, then it would almost seem impossible to rule out the possibility of universal life, even if it was only in the form of things like sea life or bugs and insects. Scientific research has been conducted that would stipulate that the universe we find ourselves in is filled with life. There is life teeming everywhere. And in fact, this life has been found in the form of bugs and critters on places like Venus. And so, if we can't confirm the existence of human extraterrestrials as human beings, what we can confirm is that life is most definitely in existence throughout the galaxy, even if it isn't in the form of human beings. We can counter that statement because military insiders who have worked in high factions of the military industrial complex have disclosed information about the existence of extraterrestrial beings in our galaxy. And in fact, there are stories and statements that some of these extraterrestrial beings actually have met with members of the US government. And so we are dealing with a universe that is perhaps teeming with life. Why would humanoid extraterrestrial beings not reveal themselves to us? We are on a journey of soul evolution here on this planet. And so if there is the existence of human beings on other planets in our galaxy, it is our responsibility to find this out for ourselves. That is the whole point of being on Earth, is to experience soul evolution. However, if all the answers are simply given to us, then what does that leave for human beings to do for themselves?